You're watching episode 31 of On Approach. <laughs> On Approach is a weekly flight sim and aviation enthusiast podcast covering the week's top user-submitted stories. News on Skylands.tv. We have with us Mr. Edson Carlos. What's we up, have buddy? Mr. Kevin Beelzebub. <laughs> Beelzebub. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Beelzebub. Yes. <laughs> 31 episodes, man. Can you believe it? Yeah. yeah, it's creeping up. That's crazy. So Mr. B's on vacation, and Mr. Pear's on the moon, and he he's, got, he's on he's on the other side of the moon, so there's no signal there. Straight into our top stories, Aerosoft has released the CRJ 700 slash 900X. This one submitted by Mr. Tarpoon. The day has come, gentlemen. It is finally in our hangars. How long has it been? Seven years? Eight years? Ten years? Like seven years. Did, did seven we touch a decade? Years. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a decade, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Really so, does. I have it. Sparks, you have it? I have it. Kevin, you have it? Yeah. No words of experience on this, but on this podcast. I haven't flown it in anger yet. Okay, I haven't either, so full disclosure. Yeah, I have not either. I have spent time in the plane. I have photographed the plane, but I haven't flown and used the plane. So I have flown it once, but that was just a uh, familiar familiarity. Flying, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm actually gonna be flying in anger tonight, so yeah, look out for that one. It's gonna be interesting. My landing was awful. So, full disclosure on that airplane, though. I, I have it, but it's not because I bought it. It's because a lot of people were having issues with Chase Plane and uh, the CRJ. So, I ended up uh, sending an email to Aerosoft. So, they, they provided a copy for me to find and fix the issues that, that most people seem to have with the update process of the CRJ and Chase Plane. Um, gotcha. Hopefully, it's resolved now. But, yeah, just full disclosure, I did not buy the product. It was given to me. Um, haven't spent much time in it. Um, I did a, a couple of pattern, a couple of patterns at my airport, and uh, haven't touched the systems. But um, I spent enough time in it to check the resolution of the texture, the modeling, and the, the flight dynamic. I had a you know a little run in it, and uh, the only thing I have to say is the modeling is is absolutely beautiful. The flight dynamic feels right, um, but the texturing leaves a bit to be desired um the outside my, texturing the inside texture um, is fine i think I, i'm quite the opposite actually. i think i'm opposite um, on that i feel like the the, the texture artist was did a spot-on job it really feels like the 320 and the, the texture is the texturing is just perfect on so many levels and including the night lighting i have nothing to say on that it's only the resolution I feel that's the the issue. It feels to me that it was made a couple of years ago, but they never touched it back. Like it was back in the days of FSX, where the textures were limited, you know. Um, but yeah, it seems like they still said, have ooms on the mind, and we exactly, don't have to worry about exactly. that. Exactly, and I don't. Something I don't get is probably those textures. I haven't checked, haven't confirmed it, but most likely those textures are 1024 by 1024 1k textures and I, the thing i'm wondering and if any developers in the the, the viewing this just write in, in the chat below i want to i want to know that is why people why developers don't use a uh, bigger canvas to make their textures like design your textures at 8k but then just export it at 1k or 2k so you're you're right. future proof that way Right. Um, so that's just that's a question I have. Maybe someone has a logical answer for this, but that's my only take. That's my take on on the CRJ. I really like the the airplane. The pricing I think is right for all the other advantages that it has, but the texturing is a bit that. 
It's bogey. Well, maybe maybe uh, in the future. I mean, cause, you know, I obviously have a look around it. And yes, they obviously, you know, it's well optimized for those people still running P3D version 3 and FSX. But we are in 64-bit realms now. And they should, like Carinado does, where they have a light version and a full version. Yeah. I mean, I would like to have an interior in this plane. I'd like to be able to walk down the body of this plane. And yeah, increase the the the, the texture maps. Uh, make them high quality so you know we we're not going to run out of memory now but those people that still run fsx or p3d version 3 they could run the light version yeah i'm with you i i feel like source data needs to be at a much higher caliber these days right it's like if you're taking something to print you work in a canvas that's this big to print it at this size right like you just that, that's how it is so source data should be much much bigger um, actually i got a story on that what's that go cool. because i had a friend who built you know the wilkinson swords the razors yes wilkinson's razor mm -hmm. company their 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 logo is a sword yeah and they they cross yeah and my friend built those swords and they were seven foot high oh wow for, for filming they were seven for filming feet high. but when you see them on screen they're teeny yeah yeah it's getting getting that full quality i do i i feel like that source data just needs to be higher you know 40 96 textures right and some repainter out there is going to release a livery in 40 96 and all of a sudden this beautiful modeling that we see here uh is finally going to be wrapped in full full hd quality stuff i feel like it was the developer that had the first shot at doing that and they should have it, it was a matter of additional time What's additional time when we're eight years in the pipeline or whatever years in the pipeline already? Like what's what's an additional 30 to 60 days of waiting for, you know what? We're going to sweeten this deal. We're going to release full 4096 HD textures wrapping the whole plane. Your choice, though, if you want these, you can use them. If you don't, there's a light version or you, we have this the SD pack uh, that gets installed as well. Um, but I feel like they, they could have and should have done that to throw a little extra eye candy in there because this looks amazing from the outside because of the complex modeling. That complex modeling wrapped in even you know a lower resolution uh, texture looks beautiful because there's a lot of intricacy there. I mean, if you look at the exhaust vent here, you look at, you know, the cutouts here, you look at this little wrap in here, and there's just so much little detail everywhere to make your eyes happy. But in the cockpit, on the flight deck, it's a little bit of a different story, right? There's less complexity going on in here as far as like uh, geometry. And it's, so it's the textures that really need to sell this. It's the textures 100% that need to sell that. And I feel like from the inside, it feels exactly like you're sitting in the Airbus. In the Airbus that they know they have to update. Right? Like they're about to come out with a new series of the Airbus. But when you're sitting in the flight deck of this, it the the, the color of the gray, the feel of the it, it just it all looks exactly like the quality of the Airbus that we all know isn't the sharpest that's out there. No, but do you think it doesn't the, fly like the Airbus? It doesn't fly like there. Do, <laughs> do you think that the texture is well made, but not high resolution enough? Or do you think the textures themselves could be done better? I think the textures are well made. I, I think they're well made. They're just not high resolution enough. So I right, hope right. that they're just going to release like an HD pack. It would be smart, yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, I feel like the textures are well made. You've got the right amount of kind of like a little bit of a wear and tear and smudges and stuff. I mean, I don't know if it'll pick up here, but you can actually see like little slight little chip here and little touches. They're everywhere and they're, they're just right. But uh, I feel like the resolution just isn't there. Yeah. Um, but it is a beautiful aircraft. And I have to say coming in at $49, by the way, that price did change because it came out at $41.99. And now it's forty nine ninety nine euros, euros. euros. Um, but when I went to buy it, it was forty one. When I got there, it was forty nine. Um, yeah, but it was fifty fifty euros for me. Yeah, but you know, it, it's still, it's worth it. 
in my eyes, it's still worth oh, absolutely. that. Absolutely, but it's not worth Especially... more than that. It's worth just right there. Yeah, that's sixty U.S. dollars, by the way. Sixty I mean, U.S. dollars. This is my yeah. this is my first regional jet. I you know I've never had a regional jet before. You know, I was always flying around in the seven three seven to do these sort of hops, but now I've got a regional jet. So hmm. those two hour hops are, are perfect for this. I'm excited to get into it. Uh, the same reason, right? For for shows, uh, you want to you want to be able to do uh, a, their flight and a return flight all in one show. This is the jet like this is the jet. You, you get there in 40 minutes. You do your thing with GSX. You flip it back around. Talk to tower another 45 minutes on the ground. Fly back 40 minutes. You're there. All done. Yeah, um, I'm we excited for export that. formats now. Yes, that is the catch, and that's what's holding me from flying the plane on the show, is the fact that I can't do like the whole company routes thing and import it. SimBrief doesn't support it. Uh, PFPX doesn't support it. So I think they're working on a completely new format to import these company it, routes. It would be very soon before PFPX. Uh, I'm cause, sure. Because PSP, PFPX is an Aerosoft product, so they're yeah. going to update it to work with yeah. this plane i'm sure i would have expected though like in seven years of development that they would have had a <laughs> bit of internal conversation about it so that it's ready when when it releases you know i would right, have expected right. that but you know we can't we can't with them all right you know uh in discussion today uh back at the discord w with the guys there was uh it, it, this topic came up and a good point was brought up by uh, bucknatic and he said you know though with a regional jet you don't have a lot of waypoints to enter. And it's very that's, true. that's it's a good very point true. too. You know, if you're going to go manual, this is the plane to go manual in because you're entering eh, five to 10, you know, points. You're, you're, it's not like you're doing a, across the pond or across the US hop where you're entering a fat list. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit easier because it's a regional jet. Still, it's but a yeah. solution to a problem that shouldn't it's a, exist. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's it's just, uh, yeah, it's simply a band-aid. It's the thought that, like, yeah, you're right. It, it's not going to save a ton of time, but there is the simplicity of importing yeah. a company route that is unmatchable. So, Orbex Object Flow 2 Open Beta. This one's submitted by Chemo NL. Thank you, Mr. Chemo, with four Sky Fives. Yes! Bring cool. on the Sky Fives. Ladies and gentlemen, about that, it is now entirely up to you to get these topics on the show. As things get rolling further, the list grows longer of topics to cover. Thank you to everyone that's been submitting story after story on the Sky Lounge. Now it's time to start ranking them up. When you see a story you want on the show, head over to that story and in the first post, smack the Sky 5 button. In this case, let's get chemo one from me. There you go, Sky 5. Orbex, object flow, open beta. It's time. Another one everyone's been waiting for for quite some time. This feels like it was seven, eight years. Well, maybe not yeah. that long, but no, 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 bro, bro. <laughs> you own a lot of fucking Orbex. It feels like seven, eight years, bro. <laughs> it does, well, especially yeah. if you're waiting and waiting we... and waiting each day. You're checking that. You're checking it every day. Yeah, <laughs> and every and everyone else has not updated their stuff yet, and you're like, damn it, I don't have any airports to fly to. And yeah, the day is here. Um. So what do you think, Sparky? You've installed it. I have not yet. I've installed it. I did have a couple of hiccups. Uh, a couple of the airports didn't go in correctly. I had to uninstall them and reinstall them to get the uh, configurator to work properly. But uh, yeah, all everything I own is now in my library. And from what I've checked out, all perfect. And they do warn that it is absolutely beta, that this is an opt-in thing. They're using Fastlane to to distribute the uh, the uh, the updates, and uh, that it is only used in P3D V4, so FSX, FSX SE one through three, continue to use uh, Object Flow one. You don't need this; it's not for you. It won't work. Does that mean that new airports that are going to be released are still going to be using Object Flow V1, or are they going to stop developing those to 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 be on V4? 
I would assume that they still develop on older platforms. But I least. would assume, but at the same time, it's kind of the perfect shifting point, right? Like it kind of yeah. is. Um, yeah, but if you, you know, when you open that configurator up and you select which sim you're running, where you know V3, V4, FSX, I assume V1 will install into FSX. And yeah. uh, V2 will install into V4. So you no matter which sim you're running, it will use the correct object. But the future, but yeah, the but future airports though, right? Like airport XYZ gets developed tomorrow. They literally could just say it's V4 only, right? It would be yeah, one, it would be one thing probably... if they said old products won't run anymore, but it's, this is not the case. Like future products, that's an easy shift. Yeah, they'll probably do dual, dual installers. So that will install it for FSX and install Even the thought of that makes me cringe, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, the, obviously, the FSX ones will be cut down without the fancy stuff in. It's like, how long do you have yeah. to support everything? Well, Orbex so far has done a very, very great job. We started with FSX and they had dozens and dozens of sceneries. They, they supported, they, now they support FSX, V2, V3, and V4. All of their scenery is doing this. And right. it's... Good job. Props to them. Really, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, to see I just hope just just slow down on on your airport development, guys. Because <laughs> the wallet turned. Like they were re they were releasing like two or three a month, and it's just like they I can't were. afford to get all. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So Mr. B uh, did have some issues as well with this. Um, so. Just keep that in mind, guys. It is absolutely a beta, and they warn you over and over and over. It's and an it easy way. To, it's an easy way to. It's an easy way to tell is when you install your airport. If the airport configurator is grayed out at the bottom, mm -hmm. uninstall it and reinstall it again. Majestic with new information on the Q400 update process. So this one posted by Mr. Tarpoon. So, he says, there will be no release of the Q400 in the near future, as they are still working on it. In the meantime, a sibling of the Q400 has just been released to the simulation platform. We congratulate the Aerosoft group on the release of the highly anticipated Bombardier. Bombardier, <laughs> is that correct? Bombardier. <laughs> Bombardier, yeah. Bombardier. Uh, Bombardier. 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 Yeah. CRJ. Bombardi. CRJ. 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 Baguette. CRJ 700. How do you say 700? CRJ. 700. CRJ. CRJ 700. Uh, so this update came out, uh, came out midweek. Um, it's, I think, it's nothing really new, right? I mean, it's, there's this, Q400 has been in the pipeline for some time, and it just seems like they're not going to really put a date down on it. We'll not be projecting a time frame as to where the project is with regards to a completion time. But we're hoping relatively soon. We'll keep you advised. So that's a far one away. That one's a far away. <laughs> that one's far never, away. Never, I, I could never get on with that plane. I, I mean, I never owned it, but I've seen other people fly it, Durka and the like, and it's just, I it just, uh, there's something about that plane that doesn't, doesn't get me. Doesn't me. jive. Yeah, well, it, it, it's continuously plotting to kill you in so many ways. And you just, <laughs> even if you know the airplane, inevitably, sometime you'll make a mistake and it's going to kill you. It's, that's, yeah. That's why you like it, actually. The <laughs> airplane. A lot of people like it, and a lot of people dislike it for that reason. Runaway 26 Simulations releases MKJP, Norman Manley International Airport. This one submitted by Ivana Fly. So, we've got a new... This is uh, Kingston, Jamaica, I believe. Uh, and I believe it's being brought to us by a completely new, uh, new developer. I think it's just not one that I've that I've heard of uh, before. Neither. Um, but Norman Manley was already done by Latin VFR. Yes, Latin Something VFR, like and uh, it was showing its age. So I'm really, really happy to see a new product for this with full V4 support. 
Mm. Looks nice from, from that shot. It does yeah. indeed. It does. It really does. Oh, nice texture. A lot of wear and tear, which I like yeah. that. And a very subtle kind of cracking of the asphalt going on as well, which is really yeah. nice. I like that. Feels like a, a hot region. Not with yeah. those clouds. Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. I wish they had better, uh, yeah, on the right, if you look at satellite images, yeah. Immediately the uh, the eyes go there, and that's a bit of an mm -hmm. eyesore. It's a bit of an eyesore. Um, I feel like uh, if you're capable of doing 3D modeling, you probably should be capable of doing some uh, 2D composi composition work. You know, it's like yeah. you could easily just make this texture <laughs> as a flat photoshop file find a nice find a nice tileable asphalt texture which you already have here um <laughs> draw some parking lines you know yeah i i just feel like it could probably be better than this photo scenery is good in some areas but when it's low quality like that they should That's just leave it so low quality too like the black, there's nothing black in it. There is no black in that. Yeah. It's completely it's washed out. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, completely washed out. Uh, that's gorgeous. A lot of really nice detail. The air yeah, vents up the, top. The air side looks looks very, very beautiful. And a lot of attention went into it. It's just don't, don't go on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay on the airport side with your airplane. Yeah. Transparent jetways. A lot of detail. Ah yes, beautiful nice. transparent jetways. I hope they're movable because that's so that would they, be nice to see this uh, expanding, huh? Would they I be really so day, Do you reckon? Maybe. I hope. <sighs> Creepy avatar guy. Shadow of a man. <laughs> Shadow <laughs> man. The thin man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's almost like the metro line. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like one. It's so nice, but. Then there's that. Nah. It hurts my I mean, soul. The airport building is beautiful. It's beautiful. The photo scenery does, does ruin it. And it's gorgeous detail out here. The nice antenna tower. Jamaica. Air Jamaica. Yeah. Beautiful detail yeah. again. You know, nice trussing underneath. Gorgeous in some areas, less in others. But dynamic lighting. Yeah, V4 ready. Before ready. I like that. We just need shadows, right? Yeah, that's the only thing that's missing. We gotta bring shadow in. Dynamic yeah. shadows. Absolutely beautiful. V five maybe. V five maybe. <laughs> so price wise, twenty dollar club. I'm that's all about good. this. I'm all about this. Yeah. This is very, very, Euros. very cool. Yeah. Um, it's number two also. No, it's number one. It's number one. Hey! hey! Number one seller. <laughs> Top of the chart. Just Flight DHC3 Otter. Now in development. This one submitted by Mr. Canuck Shaw. Oh, look at the cute dog icon. <laughs> Mr. Canuck Shaw, the DC3 Otter. Coming from Just Flight. Look at this thing. Yes. Let's go have a good peek. An old airplane. That's your style, Mr. Edson. This, this is, is all the me. This is the precursor to the twin. Yeah. 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 It's a crossover between a beaver and a twin otter. <laughs> yeah. Really this is Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's these wheels here in the bank there. Yeah. A lot of detail work. Look at all this scuffing on the uh, on the bracing. Good job. Just Flight does some incredible work. They do. Really. War yellow knife. Ah, yellow knife. Yeah. The skis. Nice. Oh, look. All the cable work is there for the skis. Look. Cable oh, nice. up and then cable up from there. Oh, that's real nice. I'm wondering if the skis are moving when you touch down. That'd be cool. Some nice That's interior nice, modeling. Though. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this. Nice wear yes. and tear. The beautiful, beautiful engine, beautiful airplane. 
It's well, it's ugly, but it's beautiful for you, Mister. Yeah, it's I ugly. I bet it sounds great. Yeah, oh, I yeah, bet right their now. their sound packs have been real strong. Just flight, a lot of wear and tear on the uh, prop. That's nice, all bitten up on the edge. Interior. Oh, we got interior. Sparky, you were mentioning you like to walk around inside your planes. Well, there you go. I do. That's nice. The wheels seats of the bit, bike seats though. are a bit square, aren't they? Yeah, I see. They're like the, the crossing into like, each yeah. other. <laughs> Obviously, it's a not work in true three D models, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's work in progress. It's in development. Nice amphibious. Yep, with cool colors. Cool colors. Great livery. Great livery. Yeah. You know, Let's liveries are so much liveries are so much about soul. Like mm -hmm. liveries need to feel like like I'm looking at a photograph, right? Like it should feel real, like a real object. And I can look at this and compare it to uh the Milvis Beaver. Where today in discussion in the Discord, I made a comment about my uh, dislike for the treatment of solid color uh, liveries on the beaver. To me, the red is not a very good red. There's no, there's no <laughs> detail no to the red. Yeah, there's no soul to the red. It's just like this red blotch in the air and it doesn't matter what angle it's at like the shading is not convincing anywhere and it's just kind of like this red blob in the airplane air. yeah and the yellow's the same i mean like this this has soul man. beautiful yeah i mean look yeah, look at the yellow yeah. right there's a different yellow up here right a little bit of a yeah. fade this wing is different yellow right so it's like they have all this stuff fading out and stuff and i love it man i love it it makes it feel real it does Makes it feel I real really like that. not just all one perfect 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 solid color straight through um, it's been worked on yeah look at the bands on the uh, floats dude look at this mm -hmm. fading away yeah so a nice. lot of detail the canoe too you can attach the yeah the to canoe it. was nice again it's kind of ugly at the same time right <laughs> yeah. but that's what makes it beautiful actually it looks ugly with the wheels, but it actually looks right with the floats. So yeah, it looks yeah, it looks more tough. Oh, look at the rear yeah, ski. You were talking about you were talking about sole. This livery especially yeah. looks fantastic. The red, the, the, yeah. the blue color, it's all perfect. Yeah, a little bit of rust going on here, right yeah. at the crack. Nah, dude, that's sick. I like it. I like it. I like perfect. it. I like it. And. Uh, that canoe is in the water. It is. Can you leave with it? That is the same canoe <laughs> that was on the plane. Yeah. I want to leave with it. I want it to separate. Like, that would be I would insane. Like it. And then be able to drive it. Yeah. And then be able to drive the canoe. <laughs> That'd be insane. <laughs> Give me a canoe model. I'll take the rest. Jet ski on board. Oh no, snow snow ski. Snow what is it called? Snowmobile? Snowmobile. Snowmobile. Yes. You can tell I live in California. What's this thing called? <laughs> <laughs> a snow thingy. Snow a thingy. Jet ski snow thing. <laughs> it's a snow ski. <laughs> Truly Canadian, that thing. Very nice. nice. Yeah, cool detail work. Oh. Oh, there's a jet, jet ski. ski. That's a jet ski in the exact same position as the uh, where the canoe was. So I wonder hmm. if we have different payloads. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, I'm digging this and I can't wait. So P3D V1, yeah, V2, V3, FSX, FSX Steam Edition, FSX Boxed Edition, FSX X, all supported. Look what's outside of the plane. Cool. Oh, that's so teasing. If you can't cool. drive it, man. This is cool. Thank <laughs> you, Just Flight. Thank you, Mr. Canookshaw. Hot topic. Black box simulation software price hikes across all product range. This one submitted by Ivana Fly. Poor Ivana. She has no Sky 5s. Here, have a Sky 5, Ivana. Um, <laughs> so earlier in the week... Black Box Simulations made an announcement 
that they will be raising the price across the board on their products. Now, it's going to look like this. Uh, things in the $15 to $25 range looks like they're getting about a $5 price hike. Uh, with some products, the 330 Extreme specifically getting a $10 hike. Uh, and the uh, Airbus Wide Body Extreme getting like a $7 hike. Wait, my math is completely bored. No, it's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this caused some controversy. I don't own any of their stuff, so I can't really speak from full experience, but I have seen enough of their stuff to kind of have my own opinion, which is why I don't own any of their stuff. I, don't I think that's fair. Because I, I think that's I've fair. Seen, I've seen their stuff. <laughs> okay, so that's fair. I've had, I've had the, I've had a copy of the. Um, let's read this: A three twenty, A three twenty one X Extreme. Uh huh. Yeah, I've had a copy of it. Uh, no, it was no, it was the three thirty. I think. Yeah, it was a three thirty to research it for an immersion pack. So they gave me a, a license for it, but then. I thought I'd change my mind a little bit because of the the things that we'll we'll cover right after. Is that um, is that because your immersion pack would look better than the plane? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this was just. I wouldn't kinda... comment. <laughs> I wouldn't comment on that, but I think the price hike on on the, on a few products, well, all of them, I guess, except from the GA one. Uh, the bulldog actually released i have had interest in the bulldog and the bird dog i have had interest in this plane uh i haven't had interest in the rest of the line uh and i've seen they're plenty of pictures prologues. of the airbus yeah they're all prologues they're not even like full full products yet right they're, so they're all prologues they've been like this as long as the crj was in development so yeah so basically they should be in, in development <laughs> yeah, <laughs> under, they should be under the in development of... tab yeah the only products they have this is the cessnas right so yes it's uh i think it's the 330 that really had a lot of weight behind it because it's the only one yeah. um that's but the reason the why time, it's, yeah it's more expensive that's the reason why yeah but again it's not it has its own particularities like when you when you go first into the airplane you have to calibrate the throttles but then they would not save the calibration, so you have to recalibrate them every single time. <laughs> um, yeah. They, you know, the texturing is is atrocious. The, yeah. the 3D modeling is good, but could be definitely better. It's it looks like a Project Open Sky. Airplane. Yeah, look look at this detail right here. Hold on, right in here. Look at sharp edge, sharp edge, sharp edge, sharp edge, sharp yeah. edge, sharp edge. No texturing on them. It's just. <sighs> Nah, but you know, price hike. People were people actually buying it in the first place. If they if they raise the price, is is it like the first sign of a death or something? I, I yeah. really don't know. Yeah, this I has really no soul. Know. There's nothing to this right no, here. It's very medical. No yeah, medical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very medical. Yeah. Doesn't so feel natural. <clears throat> the shit went crazy. Shit went crazy. Leads us directly into the next story. Um, Black Box Simulations posted this, uh, which takes us into this next story. And there's a drama alert on here. If you don't care to know, feel free to skip down uh, the video just a touch. Um, so, on Facebook, uh, when black box posted about uh some of the logic behind the increased price i think one of the particulars was better texturing and stuff like that um, matt davies aka bellens uh, commented and he said uh, am i seeing something different to you guys it literally looks no different to me maybe it's just facebook's compression uh, so there's one guy jumps in oh, it's probably facebook's compression then Black, Spot, Black Box Simulation jumps in and says, it looks better than your 380, matey. LOL. You know, uh, Jesus Christ. Ouch. If you, go on their, if you go on their Facebook page, right, 
it's like this everywhere. It's not because it's math. A little bit, okay. But everybody else has the same treatment. From, uh, answer, from black box? Professional answers. Yeah, on professional answers across the board. And they've. it's not the first time this has happened. It's not the first time. Now it's blown out of p proportion, but I mean, they <laughs> yes. search for it. We will see how it's blown out of proportion. Here we go. So that response was promptly followed by a tweet by Mr. Matt Davies. And he says, ladies and gentlemen, dot, 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 black box simulations, period. And to me, there's a very, very, very heavy weight on the period. There's an yeah. impact statement that's being made that is basically like saying, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. Drop the mic. I'm out. You make your own judgment based on that. And he shares the reply. So it's like no matter what Black Box thinks at this point, there's no undoing it, right? <laughs> it's captured everywhere now. Mm. And I thought that was it. And I thought to myself, oh, that's solid, man. Like you, rock star status, right? It's just kind of like saying, you know, well, there you have it. Drop the mic. Yeah, it's just, you know, <laughs> walking away and leaving a spinning chair, right? So much yeah. impact. But then, then I think that, I think that it just kind of soaked in a bit more. And Matt made a comment, you know, deep in, deeper in his replies. And he's, nah, it's not a joke. The guy is legit cancer. Uh, he's always been a problem since day one. I can't believe there's still a thing. But hurt. <laughs> yeah, there, there are though there are backstories to this. I've I'm followed sure them for a are. long time. So Matt, when when the three thirty got updated, he gave the three thirty a chance. He flew it on stream, and it kept pooping in his hand. <laughs> and because <laughs> <laughs> because. Because he has such a large following and a strong opinion, Blackbox started giving him shit and revoking his license and no he had shit. to fight for it. And there there was a big backstories to this. So I'm no surprise that it's no surprise to me that it, it led up to this, really. But you still and have to be cautious. You still have yeah, to be cautious still... with your words. It gets worse. Uh, this is where it really shows kind of the, ah, the, the, the fall. Honestly, I think it's the fall from the top of the hill to the bottom, bro. Matt Davies posts, guys, post hashtag things that fly better than black box. Let's get this shit trending. I'll retweet all submissions. And yeah, so that's now, just, it's just getting nasty now. Isn't now it? that's just being nasty. Now he that's actually, just being the the hashtag is not so bad if it was posted in the first post on Twitter. I agree. It would have been, it would have been I so agree. perfect. But now you make a post that's an afterthought, and it's a bit with with. It looks know, you, like you you're still hurt for it. It looks that's like you're still hurting. Yeah, that's like that's Donald Trump status. What you just did. yes, yes, that's, that's exactly like... it. That's exactly <laughs> it. Is. Best election. I won that election. Remember that? <laughs> it yes. really does. It really does come off like that. So you, you're right. It, it, had he said even you know, ladies and gentlemen, black box simulations, and then use that hashtag. Holy shit! Like people would have gotten the subtle hint and ran with it. Regardless. Yeah. It happened, <laughs> and the internet ran with it, and then the shitstorm. And we have gems like this. <laughs> <laughs> this does. Hashtag things that fly better than black box. <laughs> and a fucking potato. So, like, no, I love no, the no. entertainment aspect, you know? I do. You can't hate on the inter entertainment aspect. Uh, things that fly better uh, than than black box. Uh, a Volvo, <laughs> <laughs> a black box recorder. Yeah, this, this one I like. Fucking ungodly thing. Fucking. <laughs> 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 uh, my God. Uh, a cat. Drop the mic. Yeah. This thing. 
<laughs> Slides him three or something. A cow. A cow. <laughs> <laughs> and on and on and on. Um, you know, head over to <laughs> <laughs> head over to the notes below if you want to really catch the link and kind of browse through all of them. All, all I can say on this is that if Belens doesn't blow everyone out in the water with his Airbus, then this is going to come back and severely kick oh. him in the ass. By the yeah. time it's released, though, uh, Black Box won't be around. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> sure about that. Just Sim hints at new airport, identified as LEJR, which is Jarez in Spain. This one submitted by me. Jarez. 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 Yaris. Yeah. I yes. caught this one over on a Facebook uh, post as well by uh, the folks at Just Sim. Uh, let's go straight to that. It says a little game for you guys. The next airport will come very soon. Oh, actually, two varies. Very, very soon. If you can guess the airport, you'll win a free copy. Fast forward to weeks. down below, and it was guessed. Yeah. Very, yes, very soon. Very that quickly. sounds like two weeks. To sounds me. like two weeks. <laughs> and it is looking nice. These guys put out a lot of nice detail. Yeah. A lot of That's... nice detail. So very exciting. Another destination in Spain to hop around to. And we know we just got uh, Bilbao in Spain as well by Orbex. True. Yeah. So we're starting to kind of build up that region. Um, Aerosoft updated the uh, Ibiza uh, for V4. Once again, um, another another nice airport for the uh, the Ryanair and the Thompson, the Thompson pilots. Yeah. This one submitted by Mr. Smurf John DHC two spray and play expansion pack. I almost said spray and pray again. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. I'm gonna share a funny story at this time. Uh, there's a, a patron of the lounge, uh, Mr. Branding Iron. Hi. <laughs> um, so he doesn't watch. He doesn't watch on approach. He, he, he doesn't do the internet thing. Uh, but uh, when the Milvis came out, Mr. Branding Iron was extremely excited about the Milvis Beaver. Uh, he's a huge fan of Harrison Ford, who in real life owns a, a, a Beaver, and. Uh, he couldn't wait to get his hands on it, so he did. Uh, but we dove in, myself and another another host on the lounge, Mr. Super Thrive, dove in pretty quick on the uh, on the plane, and uh, had gotten into some of the options. And when we were sharing screenshots, you know, Branding was like, "Oh, well, how do how do I get the canoe on there?" You know, like, "Oh, you got to get the canoe expansion pack. You got to get the uh, the DLC." And he's huge against DLC, right? So he's like, the DLC? Well, I don't know about DLC. For I was like, yeah, that's the new shit, dude. You got to get DLC. But So this is the red canoe pack. But like, you, got, you can get the blue canoe pack. You can get different toolboxes <laughs> for the like, hangers. Yeah. And we started just, it was beautiful. Without ever discussing this, me and another host just started like very well, you know, playing off things and, and listing stuff. Out. Actually, I think it was Mr. Pear playing off each other and, and listing things out that you could get as DLC for the beaver. And he was losing his shit, man. He was so angry. And, <laughs> and, 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 and that brings us to today <laughs> where we actually have, where we actually have DLC for the beaver. <laughs> you preempted it. This expansion oh pack brings a short takeoff and landing wing mod kit, straight floats, and an agricultural focused model with completely functional crop duster. The most amazing thing about this is he's a country boy, self-proclaimed. He will be all about this crop duster, dude. Like he won't he be won't able to get resist it, getting it. He there's no way he he'll resist. It. There's no way he'll resist, man. So it looks great. I did it right away. Uh, if you already own the beaver, they will email you a discount code. So that's a nice little touch. Um, $14.99 on the website, you get a couple of different uh, liveries. The AgriLite, AgriFlight Services Incorporated with really nice spray. Um, different interior models as well. 
and uh yeah the floats and stuff also so oh god what's wrong with their website look at the button that's running from me there we are <laughs> Then, uh, uh, what's the short what's the short wing pack so the short takeoff right? the yeah the stall package um it's still a big clunky heavy plane so it's not don't expect like a carbon cub style performance out of it um <laughs> i'm pretty sure you can land shorter because the flaps are front <laughs> extending as you see here i think right. is, is that another pilot <laughs> 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 There's a on it. Oh, that's a new that, that's another expansion pack. That's future. <laughs> Fly it from the back. You're like... yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh man. But livery wise, look at this. This has soul. It's good. It has, it's but very less good. than the chest flight one. Yeah. But look, they, they have oh. definitely yeah, this looks much better. So you've got a couple options now uh, if you do own the DHC2 Beaver and if you don't, run out and get it because it's a really nice plane to have in the hangar. Lots and lots and lots of options with it from floats to skis. Does it come skis. with the uh, Harrison Ford livery so I can go and do some touch and goes at uh, John Wayne Airport? <laughs> some taxi have taxiways <laughs> painted on it. Some taxiway touch and goes. <laughs> they should they should they should bundle a taxiway for you. <laughs> Creator of 737 cockpit immersion sounds package hints at the DA40. This one also coming in from Facebook. Uh Mr. Predrag Drawback posts. I wonder what the next sound pack will be. And a picture of a DA40. Is that, so, the, is that the Alabeo DA4? It is the Alabeo. So yeah. now that it's out and he's posted it, I can discuss and confirm it is the DA40. I've gotten the chance to listen to the sounds. They're beautiful recordings of the engines that I got to hear from the inside perspective of the engines, of the engine. And it sounds amazing. It really does. Real nice, high quality, crisp recordings. And it's um, not so it's not exciting. like um, it's not like a cock cockpit sound only like we had with the seven three seven. Now this no, package it's, it's is not the entire yeah, thing. It's gonna be, I believe, the entire thing. It's not just clicks right. and, 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 and flips. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Very nice, very nice. So this is uh, exciting. If you don't have a GA plane yet, I highly recommend the DA forty, especially now knowing that something like this is coming to it. Because it's a gorgeous plane to fly for GA. I have You've both. Got I have the DA40 and the 42, and they're both that, awesome. That wraparound glass, isn't it amazing? Like completely yeah. unobstructed kind of view. I mean, it's beautiful for GA flying. I'll make an immersion pack for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone heard that. No, I won't. Gets <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> There's nothing to do on that airplane. It's time for the clip of the week. Clip of the week. Clip so week. this week, Mr. BRZ clipped Mr. Spark Smudge. Um, so this is actually <laughs> really, really funny. Let me uh, let me stage this up in full. <clears throat> I'll give a little backstory as well. Um, we introduced some new sounds into the stream. Patrons have a, uh, the ability to trigger sounds for the hosts from the chat. This sound was one of them, and I'll let you. I'll let it play, and you can see if you can guess what the sound is. Here we go. What is that noise? <laughs> what is that noise? He says. So that uh, that sound that we added in was a clap right <clears throat> and it was for for a sky five anytime somebody drops a sky five in the chat it drops a clap we were doing some testing with mr sparks and the sound was there a few times prior uh but he hadn't really caught it before and at this time i think it was the third time that it played 
And he was just, he lost it. He was like, well, what is that sound? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you didn't actually tell me you were testing. Exactly, sounds. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So it's kind of awesome. That was hilarious. So the sound it has a broke, broken plane or something. It did. It did. So the sound had to for for the uh, for the electronical folks out there, you will have recognized that clap right away. I figured, let's put a little Edson flavor in there, and make it something iconic. So I went with the classic, legendary, 808 clap, straight out of an 808 machine, a proper real 808 clap. However, it wasn't real enough. So the new Sky 5 sound is actually a very real sounding hand. Um, <clears throat> but there is a bonus this week as well. Uh, <laughs> while testing the sounds, while testing the sounds, I slipped in an extra one for a fire alarm for when you have an engine fire. And we tested that one on Mr. BR's dead here. So I'm going to play this one now as well. <laughs> His face says it all. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then he starts to check. He starts to check for a fire. <laughs> Oh jeez! I didn't know what was happening. I was like, "Oh my god, what's happening?" There you There's go. Nothing. He's bopping his head to the music. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. We got a nice little bonus this week, but uh, thank you guys for for those that catch TSL live. It's twitch.tv slash the Sky Lounge. Make sure to head over there. Give us a follow and uh, get notified when we go live and you can join in on the live shows and our shenanigans then. Keep clipping, keep clipping. We've got a lot of wonderful new names here. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for making the clips. When you do make the clips, share them on social media, share them online, share them in, in Facebook groups, share them on Reddit, share them everywhere you can. If it's funny, it's gonna climb up the ranks and we'll make it the clip of the week. time for worth mentioning these are the topics that uh, don't need a full discussion but they do need mentioning uh, typically things like updates to a product or releases for something that we've already covered in depth so we'll start from the top rex simulations has updated rex 4 for v4 uh, a note on that this is only rex texture direct not the texture direct soft clouds combo so if you have the combo, it's not updated for V4 yet. This is for the individual products only. Uh, the CRJ X has already been updated in this week uh, to 10, oh, sorry, 1.004. So it's released quite, a, they've re it has received quite a few hot fixes. Uh, FTX Global Freeware Airports in North and South America, August, 2017 more free ftx global oh, is the gift that keeps on giving mr crawley posts global base and open lc updates so fire up ftx central 3 go get your updates there are plenty of them uh Lowy innsbruck has received an update to 1.10 so if you are participating in the ob object flow 2 beta you'll get an update for Lowy. UK 2000 Norwich for X-Plane 10 and 11 has been released. We've covered this in detail well previously. Done. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mr. BRZ with a very hot scoop. The Flight 1 GTN 750 and 650 is now available for V4. Upgrade, only $20. Now this gets really sweet. If you purchased only one of those products in the past you are the winner why you ask because they have now made the 750 and the 650 a bundle so if you paid 64.95 for one of them and paid this 20 dollar upgrade you just paid 84.95 to get both of them and that is amazing why you say because i paid 64.95 for each of them 
and the twenty dollar upgrade fee. Sucker. Significantly more than you. Um, good work, Flight One. But for real though, those that bought both shouldn't have had an upgrade fee at all. Just saying. Um, turbulent design. Idaho Falls has been released. Full disclosure, they provided a copy for me to fly into, and it is amazing. But if it wasn't, I would still tell you that it wasn't. But it is amazing. Flying in it's there tonight. Absolutely beautiful. Are you? Nice. So you got that sorted tonight. out. Now, now we're going to sort it out. They had an issue early on with serial numbers and stuff and uh, seemed to have gotten it resolved. Um, they actually came into the stream uh, to let people know as well. And I thought that was really, really cool. So GG uh, to the folks at Turbulent Design. AI Ships. If you are running the AI Ships package found over at AV Sim, the 200 ship package, there is now an update. Uh, you've got V2. So in this thread is everything you need to get V1 and V2. This AI ship pack is amazing. Ships it is. worldwide in very high quality, including, including, um, what the hell are those damn ships called again? The shuttles, the, 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 the fairies, fairies, fairies. Thank you. Fairies, including fairies. They have them here in the Bay in Norway. You see the little fairies going from the ferry stations. Dude, it's amazing. Great it's pack, great. Yeah, completely yeah. free. Yeah, and it covers more than just ships as well. They've actually got orcas and dolphins and whales. We haven't seen any yet, but they, they're out there as well to be found. Nice. Nice. And some of them are landable, right? Yeah, they are. They are. Cool. A lot of them, maybe 50% of them. Uh, when you find one, you land on the <laughs> with a helicopter with thunderstorms at night. It's beautiful. Amazing. Beautiful. And last but definitely not least, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, welcome you to Cub Club and let you know a little bit about what we do with our patrons on the weekends. On Saturday nights, we get together and do what we call Cub Club. Uh, we pick an airport and worldwide, all of us meet at the same time on the ground and explore the world in Piper Cubs. Why Piper Cubs, you ask? Well. We don't need runways. We don't need sceneries. We don't need custom airports. None of that matters. Honestly, we don't even need pants, as it says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear pants most of the um, time. It, it, it just keeps growing week after week. It's going really, really, really well. And we invite more people to consider becoming a supporter of the site so you have full access to Cub Club. It is an amazing time, and we'd love to have more of you flying with us. It's Saturday nights. More information available in the notes below. Everything last week, actually, fun fact last week, because w when we do Cub Club, we have a uh, we run what we call dub track in parallel. So it's a website where people can listen to music on YouTube synchronized. So everyone has the same music at the same time. We yeah. watched documentaries last week. We watched a uh, we watched some motor racing um motor home racing oh yeah motor home like, motor home oval racing. racing yeah 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 and it we watched uh, each other a documentary Stop on uh yeah. 737 uh, gravel pack music yeah. oh, videos also. you know so yeah. it's completely open instead of us the hosts being hosts and playing dj and stuff it's you it's everyone feeds it whatever they want to hear so think about it like a worldwide jukebox and it has a great yeah. algorithm that it will select. It won't stack up one person's songs. It will randomize. Spurs. Yeah. So really nice. Inviting you all uh, to check out uh, the patronage options and consider joining. Thank you all very much for a wonderful show. This is episode 31 of On Approach. And we're really excited to bring you 31 more. Hit like if you haven't yet. Hopefully, we've given you at least one reason to smack that like button already. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Sky 5.